Hello. I have to, yeah, there we go. I wanted to say I have to change a few settings. I couldn't do that beforehand. I don't know why, but let's see if this works. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to, well, hopefully find myself and then we should be fine. Let's see. Yeah, I'm here. Hello. <laughs> Good. Everything is working now. Great. Okay. Well, first of all, of course, if you like, comment and share this video, you might win a gift card, uh, which is also always very, very nice, of course. <laughs> um, I'm going to do this, otherwise I can't read. I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. Good. Hello. Good. Ha. I had some trouble um, going live, but I'm here and I think you can hear me and see me. Hello. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Um, I'm going to make an autumn card today. Uh, why? Because it's, well, it, pff, let's say it like this. The weather here in the Netherlands has been like, uh, it's October for three weeks now. And it's not going to clear up until the second half of next week. So it's actually autumn here. It's raining, it's raining, it's raining and it's cold. Um, so I thought, okay, well, let's just make an autumn card. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's autumn and it's, it's, it's going to be uh, fun. I'm actually going to use the Everything's Blooming uh, collection from Annette uh, Green. And I'm going to use these. These are the... All their stems from the art journal specials, the forest critters, I think uh, they are called the stems and forest friends and uh, magic, magical uh, mushrooms. I think those are the names of the sets. I thought, well, why not use them on this card? I colored them. Otherwise, you will see me color for half an hour. That's not very fun to do. Um, and I already die cut a few things. Um, I still have to make a few things. I decided to go for the text happy for you on the card. So those are the words from Annette's collection. The swirl from Annette's collection, which I think is gorgeous. And I thought I might use this on this um, particular creation. And... Oh, I think it's cold, Femke. Very, very cold. So every night I'm under my blankets on the couch and I'm wearing my winter coat. So yeah, 18, 19 degrees is far too cold for me. <laughs> um, I have the birds. And of course the, the, the postage uh, stamp uh, dies. And the second layer of those. And I already die cut it some design paper I had laying around. I thought it would be okay to use. And um, that's what I'm going to use. And the flowers from Annette's collection. I have to assemble those too. And those little swirly things, which always are great for an accent. So I'm going to use some of the flowers. Well, as you can see, I've got a lot of assembling to do. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> oh, Ans, I am very cold. I don't think this is summer weather, 18, 19 degrees. 25, that would be perfect. Next week. So, some leaves. Yeah. Good. Um, let's start with the birds. Um, I'm going to use, I think, one or two birds on this card. Let's do the flowers later. This is all flower, 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 flower. Hot and humid. Yeah, humid is not very nice either, I know. I mean, it doesn't have to be 30 degrees, but 18 degrees is just ridiculous. It's October weather. Um, there we go. Yeah, about 25 degrees is perfect. Let's hope so. But it's kind of different all over the world because if you're in the south of uh, Europe, it's uh, much warmer than here. And it's the northern part of uh, Europe, but okay. 
well, that's always the case, right? The weather is never the same. I have a lot of little thingies. I have to decide which one I'm going to use. I think I'm going to use this one today. Why not? Why not? The leaves. Don't want the leaves now. Okay, let's see. This is for that bird. I have a lot of small things at the moment. And I'm going to color everything. Um, in a bit of, uh, well, winter colors and uh, uh, autumn colors. I don't know exactly how to call them, but let's just say I'm going to color the birds. Oh, that's that's warm, uh, Mary, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Hans, me too. I'm still working this week and my holiday will be when the weather is going to be better. So that's uh, a good timing, I would say, right? We do. We are doing great. <laughs> we are doing perfect. Good. Coloring. Of course, we have to color. Otherwise, it's very boring to have a white bird. And of course, you can die cut from a design paper or from cardstock. That will never be a problem to do. But I like using uh, inks and watercolors and, well, all kinds of things. And I'm going to use embossing clays this time. Um, I'm going to do that because you will see that if you use the embossing glaze, the colors will pop. So that's always uh, um, good. Yeah, Sue, that, isn't that a bit too hot? <laughs> Too cold and wet is not nice, but too hot either, neither, huh? So, yeah, there should be some in the middle way. Okay, going to stop with the weather. I think it's different everywhere, so it's a difficult discussion. Um, I'm going to get my inks out. A few of the distress inks. Yeah, well, we have a lot of rain too, Crystal. Loads and loads of rain in the northern parts. So Sweden as well, I think, yeah. There we go. I'm first just going to color the base of the birds. I'm not going to do anything difficult. Just going to decide what I'm going to use for its wings, and I'm not going to assemble him, uh, assemble it completely. Just going to use a few parts. So I'm going to use the wing. I am going. No, I'm not going to use this. Let's see. No, don't want to use this either. I'm looking for this part. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. The birds and the beak, I think you call it. Let's see. You don't always have to use every part of the of the dies, just the parts you want to use. You can keep it quite simple if you want to. There we go. That's all I'm going to use today. And the eye itself. Good. Now for the colors. As a base, I'm going to use Distress Colors. Um, let's see. The peeled paint is very nice. The crackling campfire is very nice. Oh. There we are. And let's see. 
one more. Hmm. Let's first do these two. That's not good. Yeah, that's great. I'm going to use the same color with this. go and well there's orange on my fingers and let's remove that before everything is orange going to add a bit of green here. Then of course we have the well legs, the not really legs, but the paws. There we go, and one more, might want to do this with the orange as well. There we are, so okay, that's step one. Step two. Oh, Francine, I'm going to make an autumn card. Herfstkaart. And I'm going to use... Um, oh, not this one. <laughs> the embossing glaze, that's another one. That's this one. Um, to color, because it's just very yeah, beautiful to use that. There's my lumberjack. That's what I wanted to use. Nope. Which color is this? Can't read it at all. Vintage photo, which is fine. And uh, the lost shadow. I'm using the lost shadow when I don't have the right color. Um, embossing clay is matching the oxide so I'm just using a neutral and I'm getting the same effect here's my first mark this is going into the first mark and then there we go then I'm going to use the powder and I think it's the first time I'm using this one because it's still closed. Yeah. There we are. It's the same, but it looks completely different, but that's okay. Oh. Then 
the most difficult part. Where is the small beak? Hello. There it is. Very sneaky. I'm going to make noise because I'm going to use the heat tool and that's always very noisy so I'm sorry that I'm warning <laughs> Powder melt is just magical. That's one. Oh, oh, don't go away. Oh. That's two. And this is going to be a bit tricky, so... Stay here. And don't go anywhere. There we are. Alright. Part one is done. Then the bird and the eye. I'm going to use the first mark and I'm going to repeat this a couple of times. Yeah, I always love the full colors as well. Uh, the very rich red and orange and browns and it's just gorgeous. I really, really love it. My favorite colors. And I've done a lot of Christmas cards lately as well. But I thought, well, it's autumn first. And I see a lot of Halloween happening already. And it's always fun to do something with Halloween as well. Ah, <laughs> don't you? Yeah. You happy to pass by? Yeah. Oh, well, welcome. Oh. Come to make noise again Done. It's going very fast now with the heat tool because it's warm, so it's a bit of noise, but not too long. Let's see. What else do we need to do? Let's just glue this. Yeah. This is nice. And that's enough. Yeah, the paper packs from Josette and David are really great, right? 
Yeah. They are must-haves again. So there we are, and then I will just color one round piece, I think this one black. No, let's do white on this and then black. my black thingy easier to do this with black paper that's okay Oh, this isn't arrived in uh, the US before they fit the paper. I thought it was there already. But that's great news then. That is there. Uh, nope. Where are the balls? Um, I just had them here. And that's the birds. Okay. So there's powder everywhere, but <laughs> that's okay. I'm going to assemble the cards and then I'm going to do the flowers. To do that, I will, I will have to be, uh, use these. These are the postage stamp dies, I think you call them, from Annette. And I used the base, of course, the, the postage uh, stamp itself. And I used the layering uh, uh, die. Um, and I just used some um, design paper I had, lying, I had laying around. Yeah, the bird is great, right? Cute birds. And it goes well with, yeah, this will be fine. So, just going to glue this. Yeah, these dies are so cute. And you can use them for just about anything you want. You can, like now I'm using it to assemble a card. I've done that before uh, with these dies. But you can also use them for um, small cards. You can use them in your journal or in your planner. You can even make uh, labels of them. an idea with this let's see what my idea was <laughs> I don't remember yeah I wanted to do something like this or yeah or maybe this I think this is going to be good. Yeah, 
and you can do it any way you want to right you can you can say okay I'm going to use it like this you can just play with it but I think I'm going to use it the way I thought of it I'm going to change my mind 20 times now, but I think this is going to be it. There we go. Oh, stupid. There's no clue on the left side, of course. <laughs> Should have seen that one. Okay. Yeah. This is going to be the base of my card. Yeah, David, it's not standard, and I, yeah, we both like the non-standard things. Just use your imagination, because these dice uh, can go anywhere you want. There we go. Okay, the plan is to use the swirl die for the birds as sort of a branch for the birds something like this and then the other plan is to use the words sort of in the middle of the cards there we go and then um, maybe a bit higher, I don't know yet, but approximately there. And then we have the critters and everything else to use on the bottom with the flowers. And I'm going to assemble the flowers in a minute. Just going to see if what I had in mind actually works. There we are. And then the swirls can go wherever we want and we can add some leaves yeah and then this is going to be a bit higher and this is going to be a bit lower and then we have our card i think this is going to be it yeah i love the critters as well and they match well with all the other cute thingies so yeah, this is going to be, well, approximately it. Let's do the flowers. Yeah. It's a cheerful card, right? It's, it's not very depressing, and it shouldn't be. Um, it should be cheerful. 
There's one more flower, but we can add it later. So again, we are going to color, or I am going to color. Going to use the same color for the leaves, the peeled paints, because I think it's a beautiful color. And I'm going to use those for the leaves. And I'm going to use another color for the flowers. Yeah, I love the green with it, and it's the same green as the in the in the in the bird, so everything will match again. Um, I'm going to put these aside and going to color the flowers. And let's do that with yellow. And I'm going to do that with fossilized amber. It's a rich yellow. And I think it's a lovely color. Crystal. Um, the fox and the other animals. These are from the Art Journal specials and they are called um, Forest Critters, I think the stamp is called. At least the fox and uh, the little squirrel. Um, this one is from the Forest Friends stamps and this one is from the Magic um, Mushroom stamp. But they are from the Art Journal specials. I'm combining the art journal specials and the Everything's Blooming collection today. As I know, the Everything's Blooming collection is uh, a spring collection, but it kind of works great for autumn as well. And the flowers I'm going to uh, do with the embossing glaze again. Because I want to emphasize the color and it really works great for that. that color um, here yeah I do there we go And the last one. Yeah, Karen, it's really all about color because I think color is just so important when you're doing a creative project. If it's all if it's all about the same color, then it's going to be quite a boring project quite fast. On the other hand, I have seen those projects done perfectly by somebody who made something of that as well so maybe it's just my problem but yeah colors are quite important
if I would have done this in different colors, it would have been a spring project. Or a summer project, because why not? Done. I need this one back because where is my third one? I lost my third one. Should have another one of the white ones, but don't see it. Okay, let's just use this one. It's a good thing you can't see all the mess. It, I mean, it's messy uh, <laughs> here already, but it's much more <laughs> messy around that. So the middle of the flower is going to be a dark brown. And I might add some small stones. So that's why it's okay that the third one is a bit different. There we are. Dirty hands. But that's okay. Let's assemble the flower. Flowers. go. I'm just going to add them randomly. They might fit perfectly if you want to, but I don't want that. I'm just going to do it a bit like that. Sort of sunflowers. And one other flower. There we are. And I think I'm going to have the heart of this flower dark brown as well. So after today, I won't be live for quite a while, for a few weeks, because um, my holiday will start. Well, actually, I have to work tomorrow, which will start on uh, Friday. And then we're off for about three weeks. And next week, um, first we have the birthday of our son, who will turn 12. That's me. That's you. And um, after that, we are going to France. Looking forward to that one. Oh. You couldn't find me, but I'm here. Okay, I'm going to try. I have these very small stones here. 
going to try if it's nice or not. Let's just sit there for a minute. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the holiday. I'm really, really tired. It has been very stressful at work for the last few months because I'm alone and normally we are with three people. It's very hard to find people for uh, jobs at the moment, but okay. So yeah, I'm looking forward um, to not doing too much for a few weeks or just doing fun stuff. Oh. Can we do this? Yep. I don't exactly know what this is. This, uh, I think they call it Prills. P-R-I-L-L-S. They are very small stones. And you can actually use them for the heart of the flowers. I don't know if it adds uh, a lot. You can also use glitter if you want to. But I don't have that here, so I do have this, so I thought I would use this. No, okay. No, thank you. Yeah, prills. Yeah, Belinda, they are prills. Oh, and I forget to do these. I have to color these as well. There we go. Because I like these swirly thingies. They always add something extra. Yes, yeah, Sue. That's true, but these are quite small. I wanted to use the glitter, but I don't have a lot of the glitter and not the right color. I think I have pink and pink is not what I was looking for now. So I thought I would use the brown. Good, assembling time. And then let's see if we need a bit more or this is enough. Let's see, how do I want this one? That would be great. Let's do it like this. I like the swirly things. They are just a nice, well, accent on the background. And in this case, a sort of a branch for my birds. This would be fine and I have these 3D foam thingies because I think it's good to elevate uh, the focus points on your cards. Oh, not too many. I think this will be fine. Someone's chatting. <laughs> yeah, like, comment and share the video and you might win a gift card. And I think a gift card is always very good because Elizabeth Crafty Science has so much uh, fun uh, crafting stuff. Ooh. And there is a lot of coming too, I can tell you. So I think, yeah, you want to you wanna share just because you have to have a chance. There we are. Let's do these here. Good. Hmm. 
Now I have to see how I want it. There we go. Let's do that one here. Um, we have the, sn the snail. And I want one more flower on this side. A whole edge. I think this is how I want it. Let's start with the mushrooms. Yeah. This is going to be good. I need my foam again. I'm almost out. I have another one, but I couldn't find it. It should be somewhere, but I don't know where. Of course I will find it after the live. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a different card. I mean, why not? And you can just make it any way you want to with those... Uh, Postage uh, dies, post postage stamp dies. I think it should be called. There we are. I want this flower up front. Yeah. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. And I need a new one. This one then. This one is less high, but uh, I think it's okay for this project. There's a bit of glue here, I will just remove that later. And I have the little scroll, I will just put that somewhere. And I have the happy for you, and that fits perfectly here. Yeah, Sylvia, I think so too. The dimension of the cards, it's just just a little bit um, more fun to look at when it's high and low. A bit of dimension. Um, you are on top of the card, I'm not. So I hope I'm doing this the way it's supposed to be. You can see it better than I can. I'm going to do it like this, otherwise I really think it's going to be a bit strange. Yeah. Don't know where to put the squirrel yet. Let's do that later. And then I have one more flower. Don't know if it's necessary. Maybe I can add one here. And then we have the leaves. And that's why I don't glue everything down. I just keep, I just glue in the middle so I can put everything behind it if I want to. Let's 
to. I do think I like the flower there, so I'm going to just glue it. And meanwhile, it has gotten dark outside, so I have to make a picture tomorrow, but... Oh. There we are. No, no, okay, and the swirls, yeah, I think so, yeah, uh, that's kind of my specialty, <laughs> just uh, have a bit of a feeling where to place everything, and, I, and it can take me... Um, 15 minutes or something or I don't I won't do that now but it can take me a long time before I'm happy where everything is and I'm very good at cutting because then it's too big okay let's just cut it so oh. yeah okay I'm going to do that off screen but I will show you the end result it's just the swirls and a few leaves and then I'm ready I will just put this here and I will show you don't know if I'm going to use the squirrel because I'm quite happy with the way things are now okay can you see it yeah <laughs> just 15 minutes yeah yeah so a happy awesome cards right happy for you happy awesome cards so yeah that was the idea for today a bit of a special arrangement with the for the cards but um i think it's a fun card and you can use those one of those dies to have it stand up you know the the card dies uh, if you have it or something like that so thank you so much for watching yeah i i think it's a, a fun card and um, I will see you in a couple of weeks because I think I will be back on the 25th for the next live. And if you are still going on a holiday, I wish you a lot of fun. And um, I hope to see you the next time. Thank you. Bye bye.